Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 1558. Guys, if you follow along on YouTube, jump on over to thewilddog.com and check out all the full length videos that we house there. Today what we're doing is covering the earthquake bar, uh, which basically allows us to do perturbation exercises of shoulder presses, bench presses, um, and, and squats possibly. But what, So what are we talking about here? What is this and how can we utilize it for us, okay? So the earthquake bar is a, what well, used to be bamboo, now they make it out of fiberglass or some composite of it, but it's very light. The bar itself is very light and you attach weights to it. This time I have kettlebells, they could be anything, they could be uh, any other types of weights, but you uh, attach them using a bungee and you create a very unstable uh, barbell, right? So what you'll notice here is I have to work very hard to be able to keep this sucker from not moving all around, right? And even when I go ahead and I press over top and I come back down, all right? Like I, you just have to work harder because it's going to be jostling all around. It wants to move around. If you ever have use something like a, like a jug of water or something, try to carry that around, that's going to feel very similar. And so you can see it kind of moving already just in the, in the, uh, the rack itself, right? So why do we use this? We use this as an accessory to our strength movements, our grinding movements. So in this case, I would use that as an accessory to a strict press. I can also use it as an accessory to a, um, a squat or a bench press, right? Because what I'm doing is I'm deloading the joints. I can't possibly use as much weight as I would be if I was doing this in a stable type manner. Iron barbell, actual weights, very stable, okay? So I need to deload uh, the amount of weight that I use, which means I'm gonna deload my joints. However, I'm gonna create this jostling motion where I need to continually stabilize throughout that. So it gives me the benefit of increasing the amount of contraction of the smaller fibers, the smaller tissue fibers that work with that stabilizing action. So I get the benefit of increased stability, I get the benefit of decreasing the joint load as an accessory to my primary lifts. So guys, uh, you go ahead and try this if you are lucky enough to have an earthquake bar. If not, you could do this with lighter forms of it using things like PVC pipes and whatnot and set up a very similar apparatus. Just keep in mind when you use a PVC pipe, it's gonna bend a whole bunch. These suckers don't bend at all, so um, maybe you wanna get something just a little bit different. The heavier the bar, the less that will jostle around. The lighter the bar, the more it will jostle, okay? Questions, comments, guys, post them below. Otherwise, we are here each and every day optimizing function to optimize performance.